Hey, Jeremy here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you four brand identities of the week of April. I'm gonna show you the ones that I love. But before I jump into the video and get inspired, I wanna show you this cool website called Master Bundles. Now you can check them out at masterbundles.com. Now the cool thing about this platform is that it's dedicated to any designer can sign up. You know, it's not exclusive, it's a marketplace where you can sign up and actually create bundles and upload products. And the cool thing is they actually do all the marketing and SEO for you and they only take 50% commission, which is super generous. So you can see some of the cool things they do. So you can see graphic packs, illustrations. So I've got illustrations here. You can see a whole bunch of cool bundles, different illustrations. They even sell fonts as well. So if I go to fonts, you can see a whole bunch of font bundles here. So if you wanna upload a design pack, then all you gotta do is go to the right and click on sign up or just put your name, email and username. You can click on add product. It gives you a little tutorial video on how to set that up. All you gotta do is add the title and then I can add some preview images. So I can I'll quickly upload those. Drag and drop your file right there to upload it in a zip folder. I can select the category so I can call it graphics. You can also click auto pricing, it'll do it all for you. You can then, once you've done uploaded all your media, you can go down and select the file type. You put the product description, paste in my description in there. Product tag, we can call it, uh, in Boom, boom, boom. And then all you're gonna do is click publish and then you're ready to go for the master bundles. So that's how you do it. Check it out, put a link in the description. Let's get back to the video. Alrighty, so the first brand identity that is up is actually the Wrigley's Extra Chewing Gum. Now, I always used to buy this and then in Australia, we got this thing called Five Gum um, that I used to like when I was younger. So I'll quickly check that out um, to show you what that looked like. So they had Five Gum back in the day when I was at, like in high school and stuff. So um, this was like a the hip new hip like gum that was good, but anyway back to um extra. So you can see here what they've done to the logo, they've um simplified it. They got rid of sort of those gradients and they actually simplified the shape at the back, made a thicker outline, got rid of sort of the shine and also the E is changed. I don't know if I like this E though, this smaller E and not the capitals. It looks a bit funny, like the spacing is a bit awkward, but I don't know. I, I like the colors though, how it's bold. They chucked the video, which is pretty cool. So the logo is, you know, fairly readable. It's legible, strong. And then they've got some variations like for other markets. So I don't know what all these mean. Like, I don't know why it's just not called extra. It's all different, um, which is interesting. They've got the graphic here, which is fairly simple to make. Not too bad, not too bad. So here's the before and the after. So I don't mind using some of these like branded elements, but I feel like they should have went for like a custom illustrator or custom illustrations to make it more fun. Cause I feel like this is just maybe a bit too generic. Um, and it's just not distinctive enough, but you know, extra gum, you know how it is. It's, it's in the background, but everyone knows about it. Here's the other designs. As you can see here, we'll zoom in a bit. Not too bad, not too bad. I like how they use the real image, like the strawberries and blueberries look cool um, instead of just the graphics. But they should have been more consistent with that because on the other packages, they don't have that, which is weird. So we scroll through here. What it looks like in, you know, I think I think that's uh, for Yida. I don't know where that is. It looks like Japanese or something. And then we've got some product shots. Yeah, I can tell it looks a bit these photography shots, I don't know, they could have maybe more, maybe appealed to more of a younger audience. Because some of these shots, I don't know if it's realistic, to be honest. Like, people don't uh, use gum, like, in some of these ways. I don't know. You can see here, the visual language. I, I do like this pattern, though, that they've got going. Like, these little, this little, like, halftone effect. Like, the lips and I love how that's kind of cool. Share your ding Friday. Feeling all white, ding moments. Yeah, I don't know. The, the ding vibe is not really, the messaging feels a bit, I don't, I don't really get that, the ding. Um, so I don't know, could sound a bit offensive to some people. Maybe. And then that billboard, that billboard looks cool though. I don't like that. Anyway, I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Let's go on to the next one. So the next one is Lexington Sporting Club. So I tried looking for the old logo, but I'm not really sure. I'm not really familiar with like UK football, but anyway, regardless, the logo is looking dope. Like look at this horse, love the, the shading on it. Um, Lexington, the type is cool. I like the badge, very simple, very clean. Now we're gonna just 
keep going next. Love the sharp angles here on the feet. It's very clear that it's a horse. Feels very bold. I think it really works. Next type, custom typeface by Christopher Payne. I'm digging this. It's condensed, all caps. Really fits that, that brand, especially for like a football club. I think that that works. And this is an awesome image. You can see some of the brand guidelines. So they've got some patterns here. You can see like the posters, um, jerseys, messaging. What else? How the badge is used, the logo itself, the icon, some merch as well, which is kind of kind of lit. And this is cool. Like if you're a designer learning, this is a good way to like lay out your design style guides, in my opinion. A bit of a close up here from the cool shots. The green is very vibrant and neon, and I, I like that. I love how it contrasts with the dark green. That always is, is a good tip when you're creating brand colors. Think of the contrast. Have light, dark. It will work better. A close up. That looks amazing. Looks solid on the jersey. That's really cool. And this is how it would look like. Just like a flat design on an image or something like that. And that's basically it. I'm digging it. I think it's really cool. I love anything, any marks that are like based around animals. I think I just, I just dig it. Really cool. Alrighty, next one is on Inspiration Grid. This is Yoke. Now, Yoke is an outdoors brand. They did packaging um, by Studio MPLS. Don't know who they are. Um, in Min Minneapolis, if that's how you say it. Um, but yeah, let's check it out. So first off, I love the colors. Green, orange, they just go well together. Let's zoom in a bit here. Um, I love the grunge going on here, like the sort of the weathered textured effect. Made in Yo Case Tins USA. Love that. That could be like a patch that would work really well. It's got some of uh, looks like some like deodorant or spray or something. All day, all night, make weekends work for you. Um, yeah, I love the the messaging is really cool. I love how they just like. The text, like the topography is playful and they've got like different badge logos. And so it's variations, like it's just fun. And it just reminds you of like camping or something. A very modern, it's like cool. Camp kitchen, self-reliable. Oh sweet, so it's like a package and it's got like all the camps. I think that's dope. Loving these things, that's really cool. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. That font, really, I like what they did with the Y and the E, really like interesting. Um, you know, with the flourish there. Is this heaven? No, it's the weekend. Punch Monday in the face. <laughs> Love that. Really bold. It, this appeals to like a young audience, in my opinion. Um, I th that's pretty cool too. They got an axe. That's lit. Well, of course you would want your logo on a, on a metal <laughs> a metal axe. Cool, cool. Some patterns. Yep. Legible, bold. And because of the contrasting colors, they really need to make that font bold. I think that works. All right, let's keep going through here. Really dig this style. Just love simple typography, you know, bad shapes. Nice, like a lock ups with the type. Joke outdoors, that's pretty lit. Make it easy, then take it easy. Got some merch here. Looks really clean. Got some of those enamel mugs. Dope. I think that's really, this is a fun project to do. Man, outdoors, like it's just, it's just cool. This stuff is, is dope. One of my favorites in this uh, session. All right, and then lastly, we've got Borland Bakery. This one was on Behance by Wadato Impact. Now, it's a bakery, and it's go they're going for like a, a premium feel. So you can read about here, he's an executive bakery chef. Um, he has a signature products. Um, Randy Borland, never heard of him. But um, you can see some of their things. So strategy, naming, identity, graphic patterns. They went for royal royalty, basically, and that's why they picked this emerald green and gold. Now, first off, up the bat, I'm really digging this font. I really like the B. I haven't seen a B like that before, to be honest. Like that with that cut and the thins and the thicks. Really nice. Um, almost like calligraphy, but it's, it's it's not really. It's more of a custom serif. Um, love that the cuts as well, the edges on the on these top parts of like the L and, and the R there. It's really cool. Digging that. Love the colors. Gold and emerald. It's always a good color combination, in my opinion. Now, uh, the strokes look cool. I feel like, I don't know, it's a bit thick in some place. They sh maybe should have done it a bit thinner because like even this bird looks a bit funny and the stars there. I don't know, a bit too thick. Um, even these dots, it can get like, the illustration can get lost if it's a bit complicated. 
but I think that's cool. That looks nice on the apron, applying the logo and the design to like the shop front as well. It's cool. It's always great to have amazing mock-ups that's irrelevant. Relevant mock-ups here for like the, the bread and the packaging. Some invitations. We've got some cards here. That looks really nice. That's nice. The card in flower. That's cool. Nice imagery as well on the back. Very sharp. Very high resolution. Makes a big difference. All right. Cool. Ball end. That's nice. Using the letter B and the type. Logo type there works nice. Just simplistic patterns. That that's a that's a cool lock up there. I think that that fills the space nicely in that, in that business card. You're invited. Cool packaging there. My bread story. <laughs> oh, I almost thought of my brand story. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Sim a very simple um, identity, but I just like it. I like how they added some icons. I like the colors. Works really well. But that's all I have for today's brand identities of the week or of the month, whatever it is. Um, but yeah, let me know what was your favorite in the comments below. And yeah, let's, let's talk about it. Let's see um, which is the best one. Really appreciate you. Thanks for watching. And if you do want to watch the previous brand identities that I did about a month ago, I'll put the video up on the screen. Thanks so much for watching. Chat to you next time.